Hi, I'm Andrew Kasoy, a senior manager in the Credits and Accounting Methods Group at Cherry Becker, based in Atlanta. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act provided some very taxpayer-friendly changes, one of which is the definition of a small business taxpayer, which now encompasses a much broader set of taxpayers. For 2018, a small business taxpayer is now pretty much any business other than a tax shelter with the three prior tax year average gross receipts of less than $25 million. In other words, as long as the average gross receipts of 2015, 2016, and 2017 do not exceed $25 million. This gross receipts test is adjusted for inflation annually and has already been increased to $26 million for the 2019 tax year. With this new small business taxpayer definition, there are now four specific accounting methods that these taxpayers can change to, which have the potential to provide significant tax savings to the taxpayers in 2018. The first change is changing to the overall cash method of accounting. By meeting the definition of a small business taxpayer, businesses can change to the cash method of accounting, which significantly simplifies accounting by only recognizing income and deducting expenses as paid. In addition, with the filing of the accounting method change, businesses will recognize a current year tax deduction from when prior revenues recognized exceed expenses recognized. In simple terms, generally, when accounts receivable exceed accounts payable, businesses will see a current year tax benefit with the filing of this change. The second change is the exception from Unicap. This is one of the easiest and favorite changes to implement. Small business taxpayers are no longer required to deal with the complicated Unicap calculations. There will potentially be a significant tax deduction with the filing of this change as all previously capitalized additional inventory costs will be expensed with the filing of the change. The third change for small business taxpayers is the exception from 471 inventory. Small business taxpayers will be able to expense inventory costs much sooner than when deducted as costs of goods sold. With this change in method of accounting, businesses will be able to deduct inventory items as soon as they are used or consumed in the business. As such, as soon as a raw material is moved into production, the item will be expensed, thus accelerating the tax deduction for the item. Depending on how long an item of inventory sits on the shelf, it could be years before the expense is deductible. So this is why this is a very favorable change. The fourth and final change is the exception from accounting for long-term contracts under the required percentage of completion method, or for UNICAP for home construction contracts. Now that was a long way of saying that small business taxpayers are no longer required to account for long-term contracts using the required percentage of completion method and may use any other acceptable long-term contract method. Other methods, such as the completed contract method, often provide businesses a longer deferral on the recognition of income from these contracts. Although there is no current year tax deduction available for this change in method of accounting, like with the prior three changes, the benefit for making this change is a prospective benefit where any new contracts can be recognized on a method other than the percentage of completion method. These changes can provide significant tax savings and simplified accounting to small businesses, those that often need tax deductions and breaks the most. Cherry Beckert has a dedicated and specialized accounting methods team ready to assist with analysis and the filing of these changes. For additional information, please go to the specialty tax page on cbh.com.